Hey YouTube, it's me again, Tasha C, and up on this lovely rainy Friday morning, and I wanted to do a quick review on a movie I seen last week called Pain, you know, Pain and Game movie that came out recently. Um, stars Mark um, Wanberg, um, The um, Rock or Dwayne Johnson, I think is his cover name, and Anthony Mackie, I think. Mac, Mac, okay. All right, now, um, now this movie here is based on actually a true story about a crime spree that took place with a group in Florida in the early '90s. And um, what I got from it is, personally, I thought it was a good movie, you know. But the thing was is that um. I would call it like really a dark comedy more so because there was some bits and pieces that they, they were funny to me personally. Um, they got that guy from Monk, the main character. I don't, it's hard for me to know what people's names is sometimes, but he plays one of the first victims. Um, of course, with any film, you know, um, any film that's based on like, you know, for the true story and stuff. Or, you know, like something based on a book or based on a play is never going, it's going to be like, personally to me, like 25% truth of, or adaption of wherever the original story um, came from. Because it's always some type of revision, editing, and so forth. So in this case, The Rock's character, which is an interesting character, kind of a funny character, like I said, you got to see the movie for yourself. Um, he's actually in real life because I, after I seen the movie, I actually came home and, you know, Googled it and did some research and stuff. And really, the character where uh, The Rock plays is not even, he's made up of a few folks. He's not actually like a, you know, real person per se. Um, the character Amphi was playing, you know, he kind of in the movie seemed a little kind of like more, a little bit tapping on more spoke, but in real life he was statistic and a damn psychopath, you know, when you watch, because they have like recently made a 48 hours, um, special that you can see online, um, dedicated, I think it's called Muscle Mayhem. And it came out right at the time it was really going like the talking about the real story behind it, um, which uh, it just based I think the the first victim had made a book. You know they even kind of made him even the vic uh, the vic the first victim um, that you know like I said even his story was altered. You know they left out bits and pieces here, bits and pieces there, just like for certain people in the group and so forth. And this changes here, this changes here. So you know. Like I said, it's pretty interesting once you compare, you know, like, the truth to, you know, seeing the movie. And, you know, you had to look at the factors is, you know, the the, the fucked up pop, a part of it all is that, unfortunately, this did happen in real life. You know, there are victims, there are people who have died from this, all for people who wanted to, like, gain an image, you know. And the more of the story is, as far as like, um, you know, overall, is that there's a price to pay when you, you know, go to the extreme just to, you know, have an image or whatever the case is, or live the American dream or be rich and so forth. And what would you do to get it and just the mess, mess up thing of it all? And... You know, because the, the, of course the victims' families did not want this to be out, out, and I read on a Wikipedia page about um how the, the fam victims' families didn't um you know did not want to give you know of course the characters you know sympathy you know or have you know sympathy or whatever, and that's what they thought you know the movie was like making it seem like the characters you know that the audience would be would have more sympathy um with these characters, and the truth is I. Personally, for me and my niece that I went with, um, I didn't have any symptom, uh, you know, sympathy for these characters. I just, sh just shake my damn head to the whole, you know, fuckery of it all. 
Um, but I mean, it was entertaining, but it's just sad overall, you know, that this, this stuff really happened despite how much they Hollywood the situation, you know, people had to suffer because of this junk, you know, of people, some people's files attentions. And, um, um, but, but like I said, as far as overall with the movie, it's not that bad. Of course, you got the My Michael Bay special effects, you know, benefit as you see, you know, guys and muscle shirts. Mm -hmm. Not bad. But overall, how long was the movie? Like, with two hours and something like that. Um, would I recommend this movie to people? Yeah, if you, you know want to see if you kind of like can take some time so like I said personally me I feel like it was a dark comedy or maybe like an action filler with some some you know nippets of comedy but you know as far as it wasn't a bad movie you know, you know what I mean I personally I can't say I was to see it again let's you know unless I was watching with somebody else and so forth but it's not per se you know a really bad movie I thought it was entertaining and then it you know, so, like I said, you know, I don't want to give too many details away because I didn't want to, like, make this, like, you know, a spoiler alert review. But, um, I can say this, you know, I personally think, like, The Rock, besides him, you know, being a nice piece to look at, um, he, overall, I thought his eye acting was pretty well. Mark Wahlberg was pretty well. All the actors, you know, in the movie, you know, like I said, it was not... It was a nice lineup as far as actors in the film. And, you know, I also further a little bit just to add in one more thing is actually the victim who made the, um, who was able to survive that made the, you know, I think the book or whatever, I think, or basically, if he's not going to benefit anything from the movie, you know, and then all the money, whatever, like I said, you know, gooey stuff, like I said, I think it's muscle mayhem. Um, that talks is one of the things that talks about the story, and of course they have like several articles that came out about about this um subject uh, subject in these horrible crimes that took place, and you know about the what they call what the Sun Gen game is really what they were called. They weren't mentioned, I don't think, in the movie that was called the Sun Gen game. Well, the Sun Gen game, but that's what they actually were, you know, called. But like I said, they left, you know, of course some important um characters out and so forth but other than that like i said i was entertained so i'm about to get out of here and um get it for here as you see um you know my hair now i don't usually wear my hair down anyway most of the time but you know i had to put it up because you know i, I was sweating and this hair is slick but here it was starting to look like mama d's hair and you know i was starting to look like poodle-ish and so i had to put it back in a ponytail so yeah all right everybody y'all take care have a lovely friday and you know unless i feel like random stuff i'll get back on here if not i mean y'all see me to the next video peace everybody